This video is sponsored by Kershaw, Next Level Pocket Knives. Use discount code 20archery23 for 20% off at kershawknives.com. Hey, Archery Talk, this is Lucas, and today I'm having the opportunity to sit down virtually with Evan Williams from Hoyt Archery. Evan's going to run us through the new 2024 Hoyt lineup, the Alpha X, the RX-8, and basically tell us what's different, what's new, and what to expect from Hoyt this year. Evan, how are you doing? Doing great, Lucas. How are you doing? So far, so good. We just got our first snow up here today, actually. So it's been a slow start oh, to win. Yeah, yeah. We've we've seen some rain periodically here and there. Uh, we've got some uh, snow capped peaks, but uh, so far, you know, knock on wood, we're we're not quite to the white Christmas that everyone's looking forward to. Yeah, anything that happens this early in the year is going to disappear shortly. So uh, it's but it's a it's a little taste test. Yep. yep. So. So tell me what's going on with Hoyt in 2024. Well, we actually have one of our most exciting lineup ever. Um, we introduced the Alpha X series. So we have a 30 inch and a 33 inch axle axle aluminum. And then we have on the carbon side, the RX-8 and the RX-8 Ultra. Um, pretty much complete reworks top to bottom um, when it comes to the components. The carbon is going to be the same frame so it's the same handle that we've had um that way we aren't interrupting any kind of manufacturing um, which is allowing us to keep those lead times way down but both bows have new pockets new limbs new cams um, the alpha x has got the lightest tech riser we've ever produced with a bow that has this kind of efficiency and speed um that's got you know a rework in the design for anyone shooting the garmin unit for the trigger mechanism because it's got the cord that goes um, from your grip to your sight we've got a uh, rework in the connection for the integrate rest so we had that lower tunnel on the vtm series that allowed you to run that cord through the lower section of the tech bar we've redesigned and relocated that to get it a little more efficient and protect that cord with less rubbing. Um, we have removed a lot of the dampening materials. So neither series Alpha X or the carbon have limb dampeners this year. We've shortened those limbs up. We've made them wider um, so you get better lateral and torsional stability in that limb, which is also reducing the amount of vibration and noise that are coming and being produced out of that. So by removing those, we're dropping the total mass weight down and we're getting reduced levels of noise and decreasing vibration by actually taking rubber dampeners out because of how the limbs, the pocket and the cams are all sinking and working together. Um, so super, super excited. Um, we've got quarter inch draw length adjustments with the new HBX exact cam um we have a three module system now instead of just a two that's going to allow us to be a lot more refined um, and a lot more efficient especially in those shorter draw lengths the other thing that's going to allow us to do is those guys that are in that you know 27 28 inch range some of those lower ones you can now have better speed and efficiencies in a longer axle axle bow so if you're looking to do one bow model and you like doing a lot of 3ds or um, if you do summer or winter leagues and then you're trying to use one bow for your leagues your 3d shooting and your hunting um, you can put yourself in a better position for speed and efficiency in that longer axle axle bow um, and therefore you get a better more stable platform when it comes to the aiming side of it you know we've got we got rid of eclipse um, we've got a screw system by going to a quarter inch axle instead of a three eighths. Um, so we've got less axle flex, um, which is helping to decrease that noise and vibration profile because you have um, better torsional stability um, through that entire shot process. We've added a boss stand on those cams. Paired with our new go sticks, you can now use those go sticks, set that cam down on the concrete, in the dirt, in the field, um, and you actually have a raised platform for that cam to keep your string track and your strings up and out of the dirt. You know, the new go sticks have a, have four positions. So they are uh, adjustable in a rotation where you can have those in line with your stabilizer for putting away in cases. 
you have a front degree angle that when you set those on the ground now you use the boss off that cam to keep everything raised up if you run a eight inch or shorter stabilizer you can bring those back into what we call the tripod position where you can actually rotate that bow forward that'll lift the cam completely out of the dirt and off the ground and now you're using the ghost sticks paired with that stabilizer to have a tripod position um, and then you can also take those ghost sticks rack them all the way back so they're in line with your limbs and they're designed to be around the sl bracket so if you shoot a back bar system there's not going to be any conflict with connection points or anything like that so you can throw it into a bow case and head out and then when you get to the field it's a wing nut adjustment pull down on that ghost stick and rotate it through that entire 180 degree span so like i said we've got lots of things going on I'm super excited about it. It was one of the things that coming into this year, we wanted to get this boat out and into the shops as quickly as possible and in the largest amount of quantities we've ever done. So we had over double the amount of bows at shops nationwide, um, well, I should say worldwide, um, between our distributors and our domestic shop partners um, that we've ever had in the past so super excited about this product um, there's a good chance if you guys are walking into a shop testing bows and wanting to purchase right there on the spot um, short of some custom configurations you know there's a really good chance that the bow that you're looking for is already on the shelf at your dealer exciting news that they're already kind of available this year i know a lot of people a lot of archery fans out there see the new bows come out and want to come test them and have a lot have to wait a long time before they can actually get their hands on one Yep. Yep. And another thing that we really wanted to do is um, engineering turned over everything, not only to marketing, but to production so much earlier this year that right now our current lead times after a launch, usually you start looking in that eight, 10, even 12 week time frame. We're still maintaining a three to five week lead time. So, you know, if you go to our website, uh, we have a new feature on there. It's the bow builder. So you can go on there. You can actually design your entire bow. Um, color of the riser, color of the limbs, color of the strings, the accessories that you want to put with it. You can print that out, take it directly into your dealer. And if they need to order that, because it's not a, a common, you know, just I want a solid color or I want a an all camo bow. Um, if it's something they need to order, you know, we have significantly reduced lead times, you know, three to five weeks versus that, you know, eight, 10, potentially 12 that we've seen in the past. Um, our efficiency on our production floor is significantly increased um with the redesign of the factory and kind of how we set up our production moving forward so hopefully we uh we maintain that three to five week and can get a lot of your guys's bows in your hands much quicker that's 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 exciting news i'm sure people are going to be happy to have a chance to kind of get out there and shoot these pretty much right away um yep. Can you, I guess, let's talk a little bit maybe about what I should be shooting this year. Uh, in the past, we've done a couple of videos on here, kind of the What Should I Shoot series. And so you got four new bows to choose from. Uh, what do you think I should be testing this year as reference uh, for hunting bows, a, a 30 inch draw, 70 pounds of draw weight, you know, typical right-handed bow. What mm -hmm. would you think would be best for me this year? And, and honestly, you know, in years past, the, the discussions we've had have, have kind of pushed you towards that that carbon ultra because with your drawing to 30 inches that number two module keeps you at the top end that's where you had your best speed and production and efficiencies um, is staying on the top side of that with this three cam or sorry the three module family that we have we're able to maximize efficiencies in those our short axle axle bows both the alpha x30 and the rx8 peak at 30 inches the alpha x 33 this year peaks at 31 and then your carbon ultra while it does go to 32 its module position break is still at 30 inches so the alpha x 30 the rx8 the rx8 ultra all will put you in the top module position for your draw length the alpha x 33 is going to put you right in the middle of that number three at your 30 inches so it's also going to give you the quarter inch adjustments. So depending on the release that you run this year, depending on the length of your D loop, you could potentially manipulate a couple of those variables and go from 30 inches to 
30 and a quarter because you now have that quarter inch option. A lot of that too, in my opinion, is gonna come down to what kind of draw cycle and back wall feel that you want. Um, with the new quarter inch adjustments on the draw length, you might look at the Alpha X33, that way you have the ability to kind of play with, do you wanna go plus a quarter? Do you wanna go minus a quarter? What kind of D-loop length do you want? Maybe you wanna lengthen that a little bit, reduce some facial contact or pressure, or you're running a longer strap on your release. Now, potentially we can be 29 and three quarters and have better accuracy and a, and a much better and easier time tuning and aiming because we're reducing some potential contact. Um, so that is that is one of those options. The other thing is how you want that back wall to feel. When you get towards the higher end, you're gonna have a shorter valley because you have better speed and efficiencies. So by going to an Alpha X33, we can soften that up a little bit or give you more room to expand, but you also have three different let off options and two different back wall settings to play with. So the HBX exact cam on top of the quarter and straw length adjustments, we've also increased the amount of user customization because you have three let off options of 75, 80 and 85%. We also have a hard and an extra hard back wall option. So the mod foot, which in the years past has allowed you to slide that position out between your let off options. You can now flip those mod feet top to bottom, bottom to top. And now what you're doing is you're taking that mod foot and you're changing the position of that mod foot's contact on the cable with relation to the axle. So if, if you know this is your axle, and I'm contacting out here with my mod foot, I'm gonna have a farther connection point, which means I have a harder back wall feel. And by harder back wall feel, we do everything based on the measurement. So what we're looking for is once we hit that back wall, when we add an extra X amount of weight in pull to that cam, how much expansion or how much does that cable tension allow us to expand in that back wall? So that extra hard setting farther away from the cam has less movement in that cable. If we flip those mod feet, then we're bringing that mod foot connection closer to the axle. So you have less cable distance between. So there's a little bit more room to play. So a guy that wants to have a little bit more expansion in their shot, they can take that extra hard setting that we're going to ship it at from the factory, move it to the hard, and it's going to feel more like what I would say, like the, the DFX cam from 2016, 2017 felt like, um, or they can have that extra hard setting, um, which is a 50% reduction in movement compared to even last year's HBX Pro cam. So is, is that a similar setup that I would see on like the Stratos target bow with a- Yep, okay. yep. it's actually that, that same exact setup. So, um, with the Stratos target bow, we've got the 36 and the 40 option. And that was our first introduction of the quarter and straw length adjustments, the three let off adjustments and that two wall settings. Um, so we took the technology that we had released on the Stratos last year and brought that into our hunting side this year. Yep. Oh, very cool. Yeah, I've been playing around with that bow a lot for, for indoor this year. So it's been uh, it's, it's been fun. I'm sure it'll be very similar with the with the new the new hunting bows to kind of fine tune them and get what works best for me. Yep. Yep. Cause again, everything right now that we're trying to do is to have the best user experience from the moment you pick up that bow in the shop and shoot it at six feet, testing it to when you get home and the guys that want to play around and the guys that really want to kind of do their own customization, you have so many different setups. There is thousands and thousands of different color combinations and configurations between the quarter inch draw length adjustment, your three different let offs, your back wall settings that you can do as a user and really make that bow fit and feel the best it physically can for you. And it doesn't have to stay the same. When I go and I hunt out West, you know, I can take that setup knowing that my angles are probably going to be much more severe. 
Um, I may want to shorten my draw length a quarter of an inch because of allowing myself to have better tension if I'm shooting uphill or downhill in the mountains. Same for a tree stand guy. If I have a shorter range that I'm hunting in because I'm in thick timber and, you know, maybe this, the farthest shot I'm going to have is 20, 25 yards, but I've got a greater potential to shoot somewhere between four and eight, 10, 12 yards, because that's where a lot of my lanes and that's where a lot of my trails are putting. That's a very, very steep downhill angle. And if I shoot too long in my draw length, once you start raking those angles down, you can, can start compressing in that back and losing tension um, and causing a lot of left right issues you know potentially into a miss depending on what that draw length is allowing you to do you know a lot of guys that are shooting target indoors in perfect conditions are running the longest draw length possible and then when they go outdoors shooting field feeda um, any kind of 3d where there would potentially be angles or you know off footing they can now take those drawings, they're shorting them a quarter inch, sometimes up to a half, just to allow themselves better potential for shot expansion and staying in their back wall and executing the best physical shot they can. So just because you set your bow up for one species on one hunt one way, doesn't mean that you can't now, you know, come back from that hunt, make some little tweaks here and there if you're, you know, got the press and have everything to do it with at home and, and run a slightly different setup because of the terrain or the environment that you're going into. And I appreciate the explanation of it. That's, uh, that's some good information. Yep, absolutely. It's a pleasure. So I, I like doing a lot of the, the technical dives and I apologize if I go too far into it sometimes, but um, you know, it's one of those things guys too. If you have questions about your bow setup or the, the potential options that you can do, or, you know, is, is this setting better for this or is this option kind of what I want to go here? You know, there's a lot of avenues to, to reach out to us via social media and, you know, ask all those questions. You know, we've got a great social media team that, you know, if he can't answer it, um, I'm just down around the corner and we've got the engineering team, you know, out around the door and, and we are more than happy to take any questions and, and help and answer anything that you guys have. So, especially with a new system like this. Glad to hear it, Evan. Thank you so much for uh, for showing us the new Hoyt lineup and uh, going into detail on what exactly users can do with it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And again, you know, any questions you guys have, feel free to reach out on us any way you can, whether that's sending an email to our customer service team, reaching out directly via social media. We're here to help you guys and answer questions and, and keep you as happy with your Hoyt product and being as successful both on the target range and out in the field as possible. Thanks so much. Absolutely, Lucas. Have a good one, guys.